Hello and welcome to another short video where I'll just show off some uh, project I did. Uh, this time it's a long promised AC adapter for my Olympus OMD EM5. Um, it's a very simple project so I won't show much really, essentially just to resolve and that's about it. So I'll just talk you through what I did. So the OMD EM5 does not have an AC input or uh, any, any DC input jack on the side so I need to go through the battery. So what I did was I bought a cheap battery. These new MOBA brand batteries are cheap and they're bad quality, don't buy them. Um, but the advantage is they're easy to open, just slice along the edge and then they're easy to prise open. The battery cells are glued into there, which is a bit annoying, but essentially, yeah, you can just take them out. Be careful to not short the two cases of the battery, of the, of the individual cells together, because then you'll short the cells to each other, which is a bad idea. So don't do that. But once you have the batteries out, there's a little PCB in the front. Just remove all the chips from it and then just solder some wires to the inside contacts. Run it out of the case and you'll be fine. Um, you'll need some power source that can... I don't know, I, I don't have the specs that I need for, for this project, honestly, for, for, for this power supply. So I just went with what made sense to me and it seems to work perfectly fine. So you want to be somewhere within the valid lithium ion lithium polymer uh, voltage range so there'll be anywhere from six point something volts up to 8.4 maximum maybe you can go a bit higher there's probably just a simple dc dc converter in the camera so you should be fine with any voltage in that range but don't quote me on it if you destroy your camera in the process it's your fault you know do this if you know what you're doing don't do it if you have no idea get the official adapter um, so for, for me, I was lucky I found a power supply lying around that had exactly 8.4 volts at 1.5 amps from an old video camera, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty much perfect. It, it, I'm pretty sure it won't draw more than that. And maybe there's peak currents, I'm not sure. It seems to be working fine, but if, if I encounter any problems that seem like uh, current spikes that make it crash or something, I can think about adding a capacitor, a fairly large capacitor, actually, inside the battery housing. But for now, I'll just... Try it like this, it should be fine. I tested it for a couple minutes and everything seems to work. Shooting, uh, shooting photos, shooting video, everything's cool. Only problem is, of course, um, there's a cable coming out of the bottom of the battery, so that means you'll have to leave the battery tray open, but depending on your tripod, that won't be a problem. And you won't be using this when shooting free-handed anyways. Mm. Another cool idea that I could do, but probably won't do, is to actually build a 5 volt adapter instead of here this 230 volt break, so that I can run it off a battery bank when I'm out and about and need just a longer battery runtime. Um, yeah, but that's for another day if I'll, as I said, even build it at, at, at some point at all. So, alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.